<laughs> oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's I didn't so expect gross. that. Hey, little winners, it's Loudy6 here with another video, and I'm starving. You know, we actually did a video where we compared American military rations with Chinese military rations, but we put a different spin on it. We basically said, if you eat these rations, we have to pretend we're soldiers. And who would win a war in said scenario based on the food? For your beef, uh, beef fetus, I thought that was pretty damn good. I'm gonna give that an eight. Yeah, yours is one out of 10, mine is nine out of 10. Well, you're just trying to win. <laughs> now, I know that sounds ridiculous, but and think I, about it, if you're hungry, you're not gonna fight a good war. And I was really skeptical about the food, and plus I was like 10 months pregnant. You're 10 months pregnant. Now, the issue is- Wait, 10 months, almost? 10 months oh. pregnant. That <laughs> Wait, makes a what? lot of sense. Nine months? <laughs> You're about ready to pop. I'm about to pop. Anyway, long story short, we got some comments that it wasn't fair because we had uh, a good Chinese ration, a, a normal one for normal scenarios. But the American one that we had is called a cold weather ration, so it's stuff that, can, that won't freeze. Mm -hmm. So it didn't have, it was like all cold food basically. Remember that? Yeah. Um, so apparently that wasn't fair. So what we did is we got a normal Warm weather, normal average weather uh, MRE from the US, which is menu 14, uh, creamy spinach fettuccine. We got another Chinese one, um, this time a different menu, a very popular one, uh, menu number one, mm -hmm. which is part of the 13th uh, Brigade or whatever troop. Yeah, <laughs> whatever the PLA. Now, both of these, we're not supposed to have either of these things. Mm -hmm. um, they're not supposed to leave military scenarios. And apparently one of the harder ones to find is Japan's military rations. But we're throwing Japan in the mix today. So today we're gonna to be trying out the MRE rations. So pretend like we're in a warlike scenario from the Chinese People's Liberation Army, the Japanese military, and then the American military. But first, this episode is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a subscription box which gives you a ton of choices on really, really cool items and products. I got sent a couple. This one I particularly like, which is called Parlor. A lot of you guys might know that I love whiskey, particularly scotch. I like this one because it's a nice little place to uh, serve my whiskey. I could pretend like I'm in the 70s, you know? Every 70s show had like a decanter and a, a random decanter of whiskey and two glasses. It's really cool that you can get these under the radar brands and you get it delivered to your house every single month. But if you don't like the box, you can actually send it back and modify it to your heart's content. So you get all kinds of cool stuff. Not only did I get this cool whiskey box, but I also got sent this weekender bag, which is pretty cool. This fantastic little bag, you know, I packed full of everything I might need for a little weekend getaway. Um, but it also came with uh, these granola bars, which is very handy, I guess. Also, something very useful, it came with these blowfish for hangover pills. So you got hangover pills, your weekender bag, the clothes that you need. The thing is, if you're not interested in any of that, there's a ton of boxes to choose from, so it's really cool that you can customize them. It's not just a surprise every single month. Check it out, it's super good value. I particularly like the stuff I was sent this month, but if I didn't, I could swap it out for other things in the future. You can try it out risk-free. Don't forget to go to bespokepost.com and use the code LAOY20 to try it out. Thanks. That's hot. That's hot. Yeah, these things are like boiling. Anyway, why is there two fried rice? Where's the protein? I think probably in there. But there's a problem though. <laughs> this thing's scary. Don't you think after you jam your stomach with all the uh, starch, all the rice, will you feel sleepy? sleepy? Of course. Like how can you fight? Well, to be fair, the uh, J Japan MRE here that we have. They're also this rice. This is called, yeah, this is called Wiener. Wiener curry rice, okay? <laughs> we <laughs> that is the Jap Japan, very rare, very mm -hmm. hard to find. And then the American military, like I said, we have creamy uh, spinach fettuccine. Now the Japan one did not come with self-heating element. You either have to use a microwave or boiling water, mm -hmm. um, which is interesting. These ones have the chemical element. Wow, that's just a brick, isn't it? Mm. It's like a solid brick of food. <laughs> uh -huh, at least I have two rice. That's true. I hope they taste good. <laughs> it's like fettuccine alfredo. I feel like the American one is a hell of a lot fancier. Okay, so everything's plated up. We got the 
I mean, I don't even know how to describe that. Rice. <laughs> we got the rice. It smells like dog food from here. Um, anyway, so I wanted to rate it on three categories. Number one is going to be taste. Mm -hmm. Number two is survivability. Does it keep you alive? And number three, the first thing is just presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to give that a two out of ten. <laughs> that is literally just squares of, <laughs> of rice. What it are you going to give that? It smells like zongzi. What are you going to give that uh, for presentation? Definitely not that nice. So probably... Three. Three, okay. Mm -hmm. You're, you're going to be a little more generous. It's your country after all. Of course. Right? The J Japanese one, I'm going to give that a five. It looks pretty average. Mm -hmm. um, very simple, but I'll tell you what, it smells pretty good compared to that. That smells like dog food. That actually smells kind of well, like this curry. actually reminds me of zongzi. So yeah, like sticky rice. Yeah, that you guys it's not eat, you know? that offensive. Really. No, it's, it's not gross. Ew. That's hot sauce? Why is brown? It's brown. Oh, it smells fine. This, honestly, it looks pretty gross. Mm. This looks pretty bad. I like the fact that you get some pretzels. Oh. Oh. It's still gross. Oh, those are bad. Mm -hmm. Those did not. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Ew. That's okay. It's not too bad. Would the peanut butter and everything mm. come better? Let's get down to business. Should we try the Chinese one first? Mm -hmm. Apparently someone killed someone with one of these. For real? Yeah. How? I don't know. They like sharpened it down or something. So this is Jiang Yo soy sauce rice? Soy sauce rice. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. It's not offensive. No. They're both pretty good. Mm. Oh, I got the... Some of the pickled radish. Oh. It has no taste. It's like literally eat some. It has no flavor. It's like a... Sad. I feel like I got coronavirus when I <laughs> ate that. This is quite good. It's pretty good. If you tell me... If you tell me this is... I keep going back is, for um, more. This is quite nice. If you tell me this is zhongzi, I will believe you. Mm, it tastes just like sticky rice. Mm-hmm. And those little grape leaf things. What are they, they wrapping them in? Uh, banana leaf. I think it's banana mm. leaf. I believe. I honestly, I could eat this, and I am eating this. Oh, without the meat. There's definitely not enough protein. There's not enough protein in this. Mm -hmm. No. That, this is good. I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten. Me too. I would eat that. Mm -hmm. I would actually eat that. It's pretty good. Now, let me tell you something. Japan and China have bad blood. China has pretty much bad blood with everyone I know, but like mm -hmm. Japan and China, it's huge rivalry. Uh, human rights atrocities, horrible things that Japan did to China mm -hmm. back then. China never let it go, obviously. Yep. But let's see what would happen in a modern wartime scenario mm -hmm. if, you know, we were stacked up. So the Chinese soldier, we know he's doing okay. He's mm -hmm. pretty well off. Let's see the Japanese soldier. Let me try it. We each get one hot dog. Let me I try like it. this wooden spoon. Hmm. Immediately, I can tell the rice quality is way higher. Way higher. It actually takes tastes fresh. This thing's two years old, right? Mm. This tastes like it's meant to sit on a shelf for a long time. This is spicy, by the way. Mm. What if some soldier can't eat mm. pot? Mm. Try that. It actually tastes like some instant rice. Yeah, but good instant rice. Not like survive, survivor rice, you know, like you're trying to stay alive. That's kind of, that's nice. Mm. I expect thing is like crispy. When you're uh, okay. biting it, it's like mush, so. It's, the flavor is good though. Mm. Everything is, mm. the flavor is really strong. Mm. Okay. Which is something I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. I thought this was going to be super bland. Mm -hmm. This is pretty good. Okay, so. So far they have what? Two sauces, that's it. Mm -hmm. And curry. Where is the vegetable? I really like this. I like both of these. I'll give this seven. Mm -hmm. Since I give this seven, so I think I'm probably will give this seven too. And you give that a seven as well? Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna give that an eight just because it's got way more flavor. Oh, spicy. It's, it's equally as tasty, mm -hmm. but this has more flavor because it's got some spice to it, so. For me, that's more worth it. If I go back to this, it's still probably gonna taste good, 
but I think it might be quite boring. The Chinese ones give me more, you know, memory. Mm, like back when you were in the PLA. <laughs> no. When you were training to kill all those Americans. More familiar with mm. the food I eat. Oh my gosh, that sounds sad, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll be honest with you. It's not appetizing. This presentation to me, I'm gonna give this a uh, two. Yeah, me too. Okay. Um, and it, I'll tell you what, it doesn't smell very good. Can't smell anything since the curry cover it. Smell <laughs> this. It the, smells like baby food. It does, but not in a good way. <laughs> not an appetizing way. Should Even Lucia Let's go. won't eat it. Let's go, get in there. Uh, we have to. It doesn't, I'll be honest, this does not Well, they good. definitely have more veggies. At this yeah, point. that's true. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh the aftertaste. Oh, the aftertaste. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's I didn't so expect great. that. That's horrible. America, you effed up. <laughs> what the hell happened? Oh, oh. Here, have some of this. No, that tastes disgusting uh, too. Let's get this out of Oh God. Uh. Oh my gosh. Dude. Seriously, you're poisoning your soldier. Is something wrong with this thing? I feel like it's definitely edible. Like, no. Yeah, it's not over a day. But it's gross. Dude, it's so bad. It tastes like, I don't know, what does it taste like? Almost like plastic or plastic and like rotten baby, f mushed baby food. That actually made my stomach turn. And the aftertaste is violent. <laughs> It kicks you in the mouth with the most horrible. Yeah, why food have aftertaste? Dude, that's bad. <laughs> that's a bad. Holy business. crap! We just lost the war. Mm -hmm. We literally, if you guys, if you soldiers have to eat this, you you've lost the war. Menu fourteen, you effed up. <laughs> We're probably gonna find out this is like the most infamous, like horrible one that everyone hates. This is bad. <laughs> it's no. That's yeah. bad. I give that a. I'm not even joking when I say I give that a one. Yeah. It's not even food. I was thinking give it a three, but it's like, what Dude, What else can be worse than this? <laughs> I give that a one. That's too bad. You give that a one? Mm-hmm. No. Can it go even lower? <laughs> In terms of what ration is going to keep me going the longest, mm -hmm. I can't give that to America, other than the fact that it does come with all these cool things. <laughs> I mean, this will, you got matches, it'll, it'll keep you alive longer in a survival With the matches? <laughs> Yeah, because you can what? start a fire and stay warm, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, really, at the end of the day, this is not edible. No. This is clearly last place. It's so gross. For, survival, for survivability, I give that a two. No joke. <laughs> Until now. Maybe 30-something <sighs> years, that's the worst. That is the worst It's the worst thing you've, in you've eaten in 30 years. I ate baby food before. Just test about uh -huh. it. They're gross. Right. But this is even This worse. is straight up poison. And baby food don't have aftertaste. I, have the to... smell is getting me right now. The smell tastes like, the smell is like the aftertaste. <laughs> it's literally plastic baby food. Yeah. It's horrible. I think this is the clear winner of today's ration battle. China, you did it. Congratulations, China. Your soldiers this time are well fed, much better than the first one we tried. Mm -hmm. um, and props to Japan. Mm -hmm. Holding up the holding up the, the fort holding down the fort there. Mm -hmm. Quite good, quite tasty. Yeah. America, America just all you... those fancy stuff, it doesn't work. I love I love America and I love my country. <laughs> but I gotta say something. I feel real bad for you guys out there. Like I feel actually upset. No, whoever chooses this. Fair. The first reaction we had for America was great. I don't remember. It's pretty it's good. Oh, uh, it's pretty good. Ra it, to me, it's ration is ration. It's yeah. not enjoyable. Well, it was good though. But I mean, this actually, I'm enjoying it. Mm, this is just appalling though. This, mm -hmm. something happened here. I think this is up in the alley about ration. You starve yeah. to death. Right. And then you you have to eat it. Sure. And then even your puke, you still need a big, <laughs> big bag. It already <laughs> looks like someone puked in the bag. Yeah. Like they went, and then they sealed it. You know what I mean? Yeah. China number one. Congratulations. China number one. I hope uh, 
I hope at some point we can get our hands on some other countries as mm -hmm. well. Because yeah. there's a lot more menus from China. They're pretty diverse. Mm -hmm. um, so it'd be fun to try out some more stuff if you guys yeah. know anyone. <laughs> uh, if you guys like our content, you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash laowai86. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we certainly enjoyed the food for the most part. I'm going to throw up if I look at that again. <laughs> uh, and I want to say thank you so much. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> thank you so much, Slowers. I'll catch you. The next one. What? what? On the next one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>